Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 with any Android smartphone. You don't have to have just a Samsung, you can use it with other smartphones. And today, I'm going to pair it with a Google Pixel phone. So, all you'll need to do is get your watch ready. Make sure you plug it into the charger so that the screen is on. It's gonna be displaying a code, a four digit code here, or so a mix of letters and numbers. And on my Android phone here, I'm just gonna to go to the Play Store and I'm gonna do a search for Galaxy Wearable. Type in Galaxy Wearable. And it should bring up this app here that you'll simply select and hit install. It's a free app and it uh, takes just a few seconds for it to download. Now this is the first of a few apps you will be downloading to make it sync properly. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll hit start. You're gonna hit allow. You wanna accept all the permissions and this is gonna allow it to find it. And just that quick, it already found it, Galaxy Watch 7. I'm going to select it. You're gonna see a number. Oh wait, first let's go ahead and enable this. Let's hit pair. So first it's trying to pair with the watch via Bluetooth. Tap on the screen of your watch and it should display a number and we'll simply hit the check to confirm the number. And so super quick, everything is moving nice and smooth. So next it's asking us to install the Galaxy Watch Manager. So we'll press OK. This is the next app you're going to download. Hit install and this app should download pretty, pretty quickly. OK, so now our app is installed. I'm going to basically go back to the home screen and I want to go back to that Galaxy wearable app. And it's still downloading software. Now we're going to sign in. So you don't have to do this step, but I would encourage you to create a Samsung account if you don't already have one. Um, this will, one, back up all the information from your watch. Um, so if you ever lose your watch and then you get a new watch, you can simply just sign into this account and then it will automatically load everything that you had previously synced on the old watch. And it also has some other good benefits as well for tracking and also for the Find My Watch feature. So that's why you wanna set this up. So you can hit uh, sign in. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna put in my sign information. Okay, so we just signed into our account mm -hmm. and it's just asking for permission to now link the account with the device, with your watch. We're gonna hit continue. And you wanna go through and you'll need to basically accept all of the uh, terms and conditions. Now, I normally will uncheck the ones that say optional and I just focus on the ones that are mandatory. Hit continue. Um, it's now asking for permission. So basically, so your text messages can go through it, your calls can go through it, all these different things. We're gonna hit allow, allow. So it has another round of just syncing that it's gonna do. On well, the next step, it's gonna ask you to sign into your Google account, and this will also help with just uh, keeping your apps updated and also being able to find your device if it's lost. I already have a Google account on the phone, so it's gonna look for whatever account is on the phone and it'll link it to that account. Okay, finally, it's asking us to accept the terms and conditions from Google as well. Um, these are also things you don't necessarily need to have all checked. Okay, next, we're going to just hit next, and this is the third app that we're going to install, which is the Samsung Smart Switch app. This is an app that's used to help with just keeping your data backed up. Also, it's helpful if you have an older Samsung watch and you want to uh, switch over the data from that old watch to the new watch, you can also use this app for that too. So that's downloaded. We're gonna go back to the home screen and go to our Galaxy Wearable app again. So here, um, this is just teeing things up if you wanna transfer data from that old watch or if you wanna back up your data that you've saved in the cloud as well. I'm gonna hit deny for now because I don't wanna switch over any data. Um, so uh, just hitting the back button takes us here, which allows us to now set the preferences for the watch. So for example, what wrist do you wear it on? I normally wear mine on the right wrist and um, the position of the buttons, the button should be to the right on the outside. Hit next. 
So now um, you can create custom workout routines. I will tell you to do this later. Let's hit next. Check your body's battery levels. Here we go. This is showing you how the gestures work on the watch as well. There is a pinch gesture you can use to silence notifications. You can also use it to launch certain apps. I have a link, uh, I have a video where I go over how to use the gestures and I'll link that video right here as well, okay? Let's hit next. You can turn on the emergency mode as well. And so um, there is, for example, a fall detection feature. There's also a feature where you can um, you can just uh, trigger an emergency alert and it will send a message to friends and family. So those are all cool things you can set up. And uh, this is it. Here it says you're all set. Our watch is good to go. This is the home screen of the wearable or the wear app. And this is where you can go in, change the watch face of the app. You can. Um, uh, have certain apps uh, set up for notifications. Um, you'll want to go through the settings here and just see all the different things that you can do. But essentially, you're set up and you're now ready to go. And obviously, our watch is just taking just a few more seconds to finish the final load. But we should see our watch face show up really soon. So uh, I'm going to throw a link up here as well for a tips and tricks video I have on the Samsung Watch 7. Um, that's a, a great video to watch just to learn about some of the cool things you can enable in the settings. The watch does so many things. So definitely make sure you watch that video so you can learn all the things you can do. Um, just want to show you finally here. You can hit start to do a quick tour of the watch. I'm going to skip it for now. But uh, when you set yours up, make sure you do the tour so you can see all the different things you can do. And here we are. Our watch is up and ready to go synced with a non Samsung phone. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to link in the comments section to my playlist. I have about uh, uh, six or seven videos I've done on this watch, different things you can do. So check out that playlist for a full list of videos to learn more about what you can do with the Watch 7, how to optimize the settings to get more battery life, um, other tips and tricks, um, you name it, I have a video on it. So definitely check that out. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.